One of the bugbears about the Octopus Energy Cozy Heat Pump range is that there is no in-home display. Well, I've made my own, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you how I've done it, the tools you need to get it done, and don't be put off because there's some extra tools that this opens up you to. Some automations with Octopus Intelligent. Maybe your battery's full and you want the cozy heat pump to kick in before you start exporting energy back to the grid. There's a whole host of things you can do with the tools that I'm going to tell you about. Now, this video will start off sounding fairly complex. Now, even with the most basic of IT knowledges, you should be able to set up what I'm gonna tell you. There's enough step-by-step -step guides out there that are practically, a five-year-old could do it if they followed it by the step-by-step -step guides. Some of the people I've provided on the internet are fantastic. Even I, with basic IT knowledge, will struggle with some of the stuff. So even I had to go through some step-by-step -step guides that other people have done, and they were really, really easy to follow. So don't be off, off put by any of this if it sounds too complex at first. Trust me, once you've set it up, you just leave it and it's pretty much works in the background perfectly. Same with the in-home display that I'm gonna show you in a minute. Now to set this up, you're going to need a tool called Home Assistant. Now. If you've already got Home Assistant, great. But if you haven't or don't know what Home Assistant is, in short, Home Assistant is a mini hub that sits in your house that basically controls your entire smart home. So anything that you've got in a smart home, bulbs, thermostats, cozy heat pumps, cozy uh, chargers, EV chargers, EVs, anything in your house that's connected to the internet can be wired into Home Assistant. And even stuff that sits on the internet that's cloud-based can also be uh, brought into Home Assistant. The idea is instead of having multiple apps to control your smart home, you just use the one Home Assistant app that talks to the rest of those smart home devices. Now, if you've got basic IT knowledge, you should be able to buy what they call a Home Assistant tool. There's links down below in the description. You get one of these and you can set it up fairly easy. It's basically just downloading several apps on the Home Assistant app and then logging in with your credentials or uh, pressing the syncing buttons in your house on certain hubs and stuff like that. And that links that in pretty nicely. We'll get how to link Octopus in a minute because that's a cloud-based system. So it gets a little easier than, than weirdly than some of the other stuff to link up. Now, if you've got really good IT knowledge, the chances are that you've already got hardware lying around your house that can make Home Assistant work. You might have a NAS device, you might already have a, a spare Raspberry Pi lying around, all that stuff. If you've got it already, you can make Home Assistant work straight away. There's loads of guys on the internet to show you how to set that up. And if you haven't got that, that, that knowledge or you haven't got any bits lying around, you can buy an off-the-shelf Home Assistant device, which again, there's links down below in the description. So once you've got Home Assistant, you just need to link Octopus to Home Assistant, and that is pretty easy. You download from the Hackass store, which is like the open store, and there's, again, videos if you haven't got HACS store on your Home Assistant on how to set that up. Again, there's pre-made videos by other people. There's no point in me remaking them. They are fantastic videos. I couldn't do a better job, but I'll link those videos down below in the description if you're struggling to find them. Once you've got that Hackass store in your Home Assistant, then you look for Octopus Energy, and there's, a, there's basically an app in there by a guy called Botcat Dave that's created it so it works for you. And then all you need to do to link it is you go to your Octopus Energy login on Octopus, Octopus's website, and you click on your account details, and then you press, uh, I'm reading my deep details here, you press account details and then API access, and in that there's a key, you copy and paste that key, into your Home Assistant, and that links all your cozy data, all your Octopus data directly in. Now, there's other things this 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 that this can do. Not only will it link your cozy device, but it'll also link any intelligent charges or cars that you've got linked into the Octopus device. Any other Octopus devices you might have, like the Octopus Mini, it can pull through your energy data. Um, if you still have a gas meter, it can pull through your gas meter data. It basically pulls everything from your Octopus account into one central account. So you could use this instead of the Octopus Energy app to view account details and stuff. But it basically means that you can control anything that's linked to Octopus as well as linked to your smart home. So you could link your solar battery, you could link your home's battery, your EV charge, and say, hey, when the EV charger sees extra intelligent hours, boost the heating 
on the Octopus Cozy. Now this video will be specifically looking at how to make that in-home display for basically controlling your thermostat, but you can do all these other things. There is other videos I will do about this, and we'll also talk about how you can export this Cozy data to heat pump monitor um, website where you can see all the heat pumps with the best SCOP all the way throughout the world, which is one of the main websites for people use comparing the performance of heat pumps. Okay, if you made it this far, you're not definitely going to make one of these panels because you've not been scared off. So you need to buy an NS Panel Pro. Now it's really important that you buy the right one with the right chipset, otherwise it won't work properly. There's several of these panels made by several people, so just make sure you get the right one. I've linked below to ones that I know work for on Amazon. Feel free to get them if you want to get the same as me, but just be careful, you buy the wrong one, it might not work. Next, you need to hack it. Now to hack it, there's a step-by-step -step guide that I've included down below in the description. Follow that video, it will perfectly explain how to do it. It's the easiest step-by-step -step guide ever, just follow it. Now you've got an NS Panel Pro, you can basically have it do anything. You can have it be a light switch, you could have it show your solar, you could have it do pretty much anything. Um, you could even have one NS Panel Pro do several things and just swipe left and right to different settings. Now, if you having the cozy heat pump on it, I'm gonna basically, down below in the, in the description, I'm gonna give you a link to my website with all these links on, but also, all the code that you're going to need if you want it to look exactly like mine. So basically just I'll show a guide on how to copy and paste that code directly into your home assistant when you build your panel so it'll look exactly like mine. If that's what you want it to look like, there's a full guide there rather than me do a full tutorial in this video. Nice written step-by-step -step guide will be included on evnick.com. So I'll put that down below. Now, what I've made mine done, I've made mine do basic things. Now I've basically had it swipe left and right, but on the main screen, we've got the primary pod, uh, which is showing up as heating up or down. I can even press here for a boost. And the next screen I have hot water, the current temperature that's on, and again, an option to boost. And finally, on my last layout screen, I have controls of the primary pod, live cop, hot water controls, total SCOP of the system today, life power in and a live out power reading. Now the next step here, I'm gonna tell you about something that you can do if you've got Octopus Intelligent Go and how you can manipulate that to work a little bit more cleverly with this. Now because we've got this integration in, we can do a couple of things. We can tell the integration that if it sees Octopus Intelligent, so because your Octopus Intelligent is in the Octopus app, that if it sees that's allocated intelligent hours, on the settings part of home, um, of home Assistant, we can go to Automation Settings, and we can say if the time is earlier than 11 p.m., which is outside the intelligent hours, and that the car has allocated intelligent hours, and the heating is below 40 C in the tank, boost the hot water for 30 minutes to you know basically 50 degrees. Or but we can set that to carry on boosting the hot water to hit a target temperature of 50 C, or you could have it boost the heating by an extra one degree. You could have loads of automations based on that. You could also say, turn my battery on for half an hour. The, the advantage of doing stuff in Home Assistant means that you can control all the other smart home devices. So once you get Home Assistant working, you'll probably find that even though you didn't think that you would, uh, you were a bit of a geek getting into this, you really will become a geek. Now, there's 150 pound up for grabs with Octopus Energy, if you need a heat pump, there's a hundred pound off when you split 200 pound with me. And if you sign up for Octopus Energy themselves as an energy company, you can split a hundred pound with me, getting 50 pound for yourself. So 150 pound up for grabs at evnick.com forward slash energy. And if you want to know how I got my data on heat pump energy monitor, well, that was a bit more complicated, so much more complicated that I had to speak to Oliver, a friend of mine who runs a channel called Speak to the Geek. Go and click his video uh, channel here. He's going to be making a guide on exactly how to do that. Thanks very much, Oliver, for that. And click this video here if you want to learn more about my Octopus Energy heat pump install that was done by Octopus Energy. Thank you.